minute. Nobody in the game with more than one personal foul. Jeremy Lin, here he is down the lane. Nice. Good pass. Slam dunk by Jordan Hill off the nice dish for Jeremy. Another look at that last play as Jeremy Lin gets into the teeth of the defense and Henson has to come over. And what's that do? Free up Jordan Hill for the absolute. At 112.85, then lost by 20 last evening. Looking to salvage one before they go home. Oh, great play. Wide open and Davis. Bad defense by Jens at that time. Anderson grabbed with one hand and tried to catch and flush in one motion and unable to. In transition, win the boozer. Fans have dominated in the paint tonight. 44 points in the paint compared to 22 for the Lakers. Paint points this year, Mavs are scoring 44 and a half per game. That's ninth in the league. Sacre will give the Lakers two points. In the Reach the 16th minute of the play. Missed the shot. Rebound. Going to be taken and chased down by Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin, that's his first board of the game. Start, stop, drive all the way. Good pass to Boozer. Jeremy Lin making it happen. And Boozer with the finish. 5.51 to go in the game. And Jeremy Lin surveying and dishing. And Boozer laying it up. Laying it in. Finds Isaiah Thomas as the only other player on either team in double figures. Thomas has 10. Down the middle. Off the feed from Jeremy. You have to read defenses, and he read it very, very well on the bounce pass to Ed Davis. That's what the pick and roll is all about. Wasn't a high ladder, but he still went up and got it. Here's Jeremy Lynn. Down the middle he goes. Good feed. Hello, Johnson. Oh, Jeremy. A lot of bounds. Into Lynn. They have 12 to shoot. Jeremy attacks again to the trailer boozer. Nice job. Gets his sixth assist of the ball game, finding the diving Carlos Boozer after the help by Zeller. And Boozer lays it up and lays it in. Guys can make it. They did it, however. And that's settling with the Lakers' defense not that strong, keeping the Bucks on the perimeter. Well, the Bucks have to know their percentages. They're a pretty good three point shooting team, fifth in the league at 38%. Tonight they're at 30. That was just penetration and then follow up. So their offensive rebounding, the Lakers tonight, has been critical. And throws it over the top. Lock stopped at 542. It'll turn into a full timeout. So, so for two teams that have lost 13 of 14 each and are on losing streaks of Six for Denver and four in a row for the Lakers. An entertaining game. Boozer with the dive. It's all of them. Free throw, field goal, three point. They've all gone up. Will had a wrist injury to start the season, though. Slowed in a little bit early. Oh, Davis again is going to receive from Lynn. And again, he's going to score. So right. Jeremy Lynn to Ed Davis. He fouls. He's a little peeved, so. <laughs> Uh, might take it to the basket. Instead, it's a nice little roll by Ed Davis. Those two have some good chemistry together on the floor. Art Kelly in the game, as is Ed Davis. Leslie Johnson in the corner. This one's at the other side. Ellington, this is his quarter. Waking up. There's a nice read by Jeremy. He just sees that Bayless is way too far into the basket in a help position. And a chance now for the Lakers to regain the lead. Who's are on the break? See, this is the Achilles heel. Possession. Jeremy Lin with a nice bounce pass to the streaking Carlos Boozer. So nice. knocks it down, and the Lakers with a two-point lead. Oh, great, and a great steal step. by Bad Davis. Bad pass by Beasley. Bad pass. Good steal. Lin with a mismatch now against yeah. Anderson. Yeah, get your spacing now. Take advantage of what you want. There you go. Drives by. Davis fouled and won. It's a very high IQ play by Jeremy Lin. He gets down in here. He knows he has all the big guys. Watch how they come to him. And then right, right to one of your big guys who's playing well. A little less. One possession game, though. Lin. It's oh. good feet to Jordan Hill for the layup. Let me tell you, that, that was beautiful. In the paint. Lynn able to find Davis underneath. That was a nice find. Right from the top. Ed Davis flashed to the middle of the paint.
And Jeremy Lin, Lin, he did it on that possession. He just split the two and fouled Cantor, cut streaking to the basket. Against Miami, Cantor had a career best 15 point quarter. In and Terrence Ross, an air ball saved by Amir, but Lynn handles it. And the Lakers up now by four. I saw the defender get below the screen, hop back, nice recognition. Knockdown shot by Mike Conley. Jordan Clarkson has all eight Laker points. He's four for four. The rest of the team is 0 for 8. Boozer and Lynn exchange, and Lynn's got a straight line drive and the wraparound to Ed Davis. Just when you thought it was safe to go in the water. <laughs> again, the two had really good chemistry all year. Lynn and Davis. They don't have anybody that they can go to. We get another look at Jeremy Lynn throwing the lob up for Ed Davis. Anywhere near the rim, yeah, it'll take care right. of the rest. And he takes care of that one easy. Yeah, Lakers lost. Rebound at Davis. Ahead for Lynn, and now the Lakers in transition. Oh, good trailer pass to Davis to finish on the break. A good thing uh, that Ed captured the lead. That's the way you run a break. The trail man, so to speak, is Ed. Ed scores easily. Lane off the dribble and create opportunities for their bigs. Let's do this end of the floor, too. Only 12 paint points in the last 30 minutes. Four on one. Lynn, middle, Davis, slam dunk. Team on Chris Paul. He is so good at stopping and making that shot from 18 feet. He's so deadly from that area. Good pass, Lynn, into Tarek Black. We can see some good passing from the Lakers. Lynn finding Black last year. Of course, just unwatchable at times during that lost season last year. You know, nice. oh, there's Jeremy Lin with a good look, but staying with it and scoring is well, David. He opens things up for people, doesn't he? Well, he drew two defenders and hit the open man. Easy call for the official shot. Yeah, they got a chance to break. Got to protect that rim, like you said. Lin runs it, kicks it outside. Clarkson got it. Jeremy Lin. That's what happens when you don't quit on plays, and the Lakers haven't been uh, quitting on plays into the paint. Lin behind his back. Go ahead and take it, Julius. On its way. He's got it. Did you see how he read, though? He caught it, and he won. For him, that's foul number five. Uh, Carl's can to show you. Uh, Julius just reading. Miles, uh, he's Leonard is way off of him, so he just take it. Good rebound, Roscoe Smith. He just doesn't stand still when he's off the ball. When the shot goes up, he's normally oh, nice. Jeremy Lin. Alley oop lob slam don't get Davis they do it again yeah, good, team it up good read by Jeremy 80. Jeremy Lynn and Ed Davis well they got it rolling again screen and roll throw it up and I'll throw it down nice job by those two players Lakers by 13. he comes up with that uh, steal and they're going the other direction Lakers shot under 30 percent the first half in the last game they're under 40 percent here tonight Lynn lays it off for Davis. That's a good feed as he drew the defense, and Ed Davis was alone underneath. And I tell you, he ran the shot clock off. That's the basket is Jeremy Lynn had the shot clock going down deep, but he knew that Ed Davis was available. Nice little dish and easy. Eligible players. That was the game when Cayman was laying on the bench. Here is uh, Jeremy Lynn. Bounce over to Rob, 15 feet, on its way. So he's hit. This is a big possession here for the Lakers. They've been battling all game to try to get this game back down to single digits. Len to Boozer. It's a single game in an eight-point third quarter. Len has lit the fuse. And the Lakers coming back up. No. Blake Griffin a little cold to begin the third. Here's Johnson on a three. He got it. Don't get caught up in your offense. Let other things, you know, kind of give you the adrenaline to, to do other things and play well. And almost like he was in the middle, indecisive when he went out. He was very indecisive, even looked away at the last minute. Oh. Got it. Those are the easy ones. Did on 11 of their 12 field goals. Lynn trying to pick his way through. Good pass, and Davis with a two-hand hammer. Head up. Strictly by Jeremy Lynn. You look at the penetrate going by Millsap. Harold came, comes over. The paint, steps through, layup short. Oh, he got by Lindo, but that's what he needs to do. Lynn can't guard him. Jeremy the other way. Dumps it over to Hill for a jam. Lakers by five. Hill with the screen. Otich with the switch. Now Lynn right to...
Mavs have shot 61 and a half percent from the floor tonight and they've attempted 17 free throws to the Lakers seven. Kobe for three. For Bondexter. They only shoot 14 and a half threes a game and they make five and a half. That's not where they live. Kobe underneath as Bondexter fell down. To play the uh, first half as Kobe knocks down the defender and then gets the absolute gimme and puts the Lakers up by nine. Goes right around a couple of defenders and wildly throws it up. We have an Ed Davis sighting again. He's been on the bench, of course, with those three quick fouls. Only played six minutes previously. Bounced underneath. Great entry by Jeremy Lin, who is really taking advantage of this porous well, Minnesota defense and running the show. That time they asked, I guess, uh, Ben to go. He had his mind made up which way he was going to go with the pass, and they took that away, and he'd already left his feet. Uh, he should have just kept the ball in the middle, waited for the defense to commit as we get a look at it. Yeah, Davis getting the planning for him now. Not a surprise that he was last year when he was a rookie out of Louisville. Look at Nick Young rising and throwing it down as he goes base. Kobe says, cut baseline, I see you. And he cuts baseline, gets to E. With the Knicks, and boy, did he ever flourish. In fact, in a game against the, these very Lakers, the Laker franchise, he had 38 points. I think that was his high during that stretch. He dishes to Johnson for the baseline drive and the dunk. Meantime, we'll take a look at Wesley Johnson showing duress as Lowry came over. Wesley gets a hand on it. Who wants it? Lakers do. Lynn, Boozer, score! Uh, carelessness minutes as the Lakers get the turnover and Jeremy Lin finds Boozer for the deuce. Half. Here's Ginobili on the drive. Can't get it to go. Rebound Boozer. Here's Nick Young with a pull-up three. Got it. Wiggins. Quiet second half for Wiggins. Does have 10 in the game. Boozer underneath, able to get a couple of... Oh, he's tricky. Good. Yeah, and smooth. Thought it was one of the great shooters in the league when he played. Is that six for six? <laughs> Talking about efficient. Yeah, six for six. The Green trying to shake off. Oh, Young man. Does. Down the middle he goes. And Sacre didn't want to get posterized, and he helped force a missed dunk. Ellington, other end. Count it! Sacre. Thunder by six, Jeremy Lin gets past Morrow. Out to Ellington, nails a three. Getting stops and then offensively the extra pass and Ellington knocks down the shot. This is the... Lin into the paint, kick out Ellington, a three ball, got it! But as a driving kick by Lynn, getting into the thick of the Thunder defense, kicks it out to a wide open Ellington in the corner, knocks it down, and then their best player celebrated. 10 for Udre. To 17 for the Memphis points in the third quarter. Jeremy Lynn, Laker points. Good dish. Dunk it home. Slam dunk by. Great miss by Reggie. 18 seconds remain. Oh, still playing hard defensively. Look inside, an easy basket. By Davis. Lynn pushing. Gets bailed out because he finds Kelly alone. He hits it. Boy, that was from the Magic. Tapped out to Ellington. Lynn going to attack instead of shooting a three. Underneath. Tark Black throws it down. Ivan off the bench. Tark Black. Four for four. 13. One for four. Never really a threat. Jeremy Lynn. Stops Boozer, gonna try it again. Short, no, called over. Boos thought it was six out of eight from the field. 13 rebounds for Boozer to go with 12. Yeah. New dry spell here by the Lakers. That's what I said before. They have to be consistent. Pretty much a nice play behind and be able to dig themselves out of uh, holes as Wayne Ellington has a, a three point opportunity hit by. Vince Carter of all time, but I'm not going to make 90 some free throws in a row. I would have expected him to say, yeah. I can do that if I get enough, enough attempts. By the way, those January numbers, Mike, alluding to 28% from the field, 18% from beyond the arc, as a dunk is defensively and let Tucker just really go up his left side to get right in front of the rim. And Davis. 
Tell me about that, Davis. You talked about the Lakers and how well they're monitoring this 25-year-old. His athleticism and his ability to transition here. He's got the hot hand. And Lynn finds him in the corner. Swaggy P gets it to go. Like ahead to Lynn. Mm -hmm. Around the jam. But, you know, everybody loves to score, but everybody has to realize that there's roles to be played. Jeremy Lynn, the handoff from Wayne Ellington. Lob underneath. Throw it down on the alley oop. Ed Davis from Lynn. That was a nice screen and then a nice hesitation. But, you know, everybody loves to score, but everybody has to realize that there's roles to be played. Jeremy Lynn, the handoff from Wayne Ellington. Lob underneath. Throw it down on the alley oop. Ed Davis from Lynn. That was a nice screen and then a nice hesitation. Now he's Jeremy upset. Lynn. Now he's upset because he thought he had that. They have been doing a lot of that lately. Of a victory here tonight. With the Lakers in the lead. Let's go to the Access Sportsnet studio. The Jack of the Box. Halftime report. Thursday and we'll have it for you on TV. It's can't make it. And then in Ontario, always a great crowd out in Ontario in that beautiful world. Oh! Lob it under it! He comes off and rolls to the basket. Great Jeremy vision. throws it up and Ed Davis throws it. Create his own. Can knock him down at times. Lob underneath! Throw it down at Davis! 75 all. Jeremy Lynn, give me assist. Well, Ed Davis and Jeremy Lynn, not, they've done it. Lynn, Jeremy Lynn throwing it up and Ed Davis even under duress. Throwing it down from behind, got hit on the head, but didn't affect catching the ball and throwing it through the basket. Good job by Ed Davis. The number two scoring team in the league, just behind Dallas, and we will see Dallas the night after Christmas in Texas. See how they look with Rondo. Lob under to Davis! Alley-oop, Lynn to the big boss who throws it down. <laughs> Jeremy's reading the basket by Ed Davis. A good example of Jeremy reading the defense. The, Big steps out, and he knows if I throw it up, Ed Davis should be able to just throw it down, and that's exactly what happened. That's a nice looking play. Kobe's got the Lakers, even at 82. Oh, Ty Lawson got himself in all kinds of trouble. Here comes Jeremy in three on one. Left wing, West Johnson, slam! The pass from Jeremy Lynn to take off Wesley Johnson. He hammers one on Gallinari, gets fouled, and Goes to the line to see if he can complete the three-point play. The bench of the Lakers, they kind of enjoyed that play. <laughs> How about Wesley? Uh, you know, he doesn't do a whole lot uh, to impact the game. Well, he had, maybe had those blocks early. But then offensively, not really getting a whole giant. Rebound, Boozer. Or the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Long lead. Whoa! Throw it down, oh, Wesley Johnson. Wow, what a play. Slam, dunk, and what a pass. What a play by Wesley Johnson. That was not easy. Woo! The pass was on the money, but the defender was right there as well. And defender goes up, and Wesley just goes up, catches it, throws it down, and a foul to Corey Brewer. Nice look ahead by Jeremy Lin, and what a play by Wesley Johnson.